Good afternoon, Miss Stobbs. So could you give us a brief overview of PSHCE, what it is, uh, how it's taught, and any other further information? Yeah, absolutely. So PSHCE stands for Personal, Social, Health, Citizenship and Careers Education. So what we do at Tight On Still is we split that across the four first years of your time at Tight On Still. So we have year seven, eight and nine. You will have a lesson a fortnight, um, which is labelled as PSHCE. And in year 10, you will have a lesson a fortnight on careers. So in year seven, eight and nine, it's broken down into three units. So we study the ready, respectful and safe. So in ready, we look at, are you ready to learn? Is your mental health ready? Um, do we need to put any support packages in place to make sure that you are ready for the future? So in the respectful unit, we look at things like respect in a multicultural society. We looked at how we respect ourselves and how we respect other people. Okay, and then within the safe aspect of the lessons, we look at things like your sex education. We look at alcohol, drugs, um, exploitation making sure that you're staying safe within the choices that you make in life. And then during your careers lessons in year 10, we look at making sure that you're prepared for that post 16 pathway, looking at different colleges, different qualifications that you can look at. Good afternoon, Mr. Turner. So what do we do in addition to PSHC lessons? So in addition to the curriculum activities that we have going on, we also have one additional drop down day per year for PSHC activities. Uh, in year 10, that focus is around college visits, in year nine, it focuses on prison awareness days, and we look at other activities and also do a little bit more around sex education at that time for the younger year groups. Uh, we also have additional resources that we cover in tutor time. So we have a full programme that we follow within tutor time activities that look at localised issues. So we, we were very responsive around issues that happen in Hartlepool and education that needs to be on top of those issues and other activities that we do, which generally promote health, well-being, and mental state of mind with all young people across tutor time. In addition to what we do within curriculum and tutor time as well, we also have a guest speakers who come in and give talks upon careers, or they give talks of other areas within the local community and factors that affect our young people. Can you tell us a little bit more about the relationship, sex, health, education, and how we deliver it in topics wise? Okay, so it's drip fed across the curriculum in a number of subjects already. So topics such as science and biology, where areas are covered as they naturally would be within the curriculum. Uh, the students will also get curriculum lessons based around the RSHCE policy. So issues that will affect them as they're growing and maturing. Those will be done within year seven, eight, and nine curriculum lessons. So we also have additional sessions where we look at relationships and positive health style choices. Those are variant within different year groups. So as the child progresses and matures, there will be different content which is relevant depending on where they're at in their development stage. So the, the content we cover within these sessions would be around healthy relationships, sexual abuse, sexual exploitation, the age of consent and images online and how that is a really big issue around use of mobile phones with young people at the moment so it's all around protecting them from themselves but also protecting them from other people around them so good afternoon mr leary good afternoon so if a parent or carer had any concerns around the content that we're discussing today what could they do okay so if the first instance with concerns in the policy document itself it says who you can get in touch with which is either myself at college, um, I'm assistant head teacher for personal development, or by Mr. Turner, who is a PSHE coordinator for the school. For um, if we would then try and allay any fears that you may have over course content and talk you through why we do it and whatnot and, and the reasons behind it. If you then continue to have any issues, your next port of call is to write a, a, a formal letter to the head teacher discussing withdrawal and your reasons behind that. However, the expectation is that all students do participate in RSHE and more broadly PSHCE lessons. Thank you.